welcome back to Cooking with Gloria. Today, I wanna share with you a very delicious hazelnut cake that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. this delicious hazelnut cake these are the ingredients butter sour cream vanilla extract baking powder eggs of course the star the hazelnuts granulated sugar milk all-purpose flour and of course our non-stick baking cream that you already have that amazing recipe on my channel so let's get started I want to start by preparing my hazelnuts. Of course, I am have I have boiling water. I'm going to add the hazelnuts that have the skin already. I'm adding the baking soda on the top. And of course, you're going to have all the ingredients in the description box. I'm just going to whisk it in. I'm going to cook it for about eight minutes. After the eight minutes, you're gonna see it nice and bubbling and even the water is going to change color. Let me tell you why you wanna, you wanna soak in hot water, boil them in hot water so that it's easy to remove the skin of the hazelnuts. And here I'm gonna put them through a sifter and I'm gonna add cold water and I'm gonna be cleaning one by one. This is the part that takes longer, cleaning, your hazelnuts and getting the skin completely off your hazelnuts. Look at this. It really doesn't take too long, but you want to take this extra step. Once they are nice and clean and you put them on the towel and now they're dry, you are going to bake them at 375 for 10 minutes. You could bake it for 8 to 10 minutes. You decide every oven is different so here i have a a baking dish that i lined with non-stick paper and i'm going to go ahead add my my hazelnuts i'm going to put it in the oven and i'm going to let them get nice and roasted so the aroma and the flavors really wake up look at this they're nice and clean okay i have preheated my oven i'm gonna go ahead they are nice and crispy nice and roasted and now that i have everything ready i'm gonna go ahead and take one whole cup of the hazelnuts i'm gonna reserve it because that's the cup that i'm going to use to decorate this delicious and moist hazelnut cake. I have my eggs, I'm adding my sour cream, adding the butter, I'm going to add the milk, I'm going to add the vanilla extract, the sugar, and once I have all the ingredients in here, I am going to whisk it, making sure that everything is incorporated it doesn't take too long just remember that all your ingredients need to be at room temperature so that your cake comes out fluffy moist tender amazing and here i have my dry ingredients i have all i have the all-purpose flour the baking powder and i am going to go ahead and whisk it really good until there is no more dry ingredients the texture of this mixture is thick it's not too runny but believe me your cake is going to come out fluffy moist tender and amazing and now of course i want to show you my non-stick baking cream that i use all the time 
it really lasts a long time in the refrigerator there's no need to butter your pan and then add all-purpose flour this is a one step baking cream non-stick baking cream that is going to release your cakes your cupcakes anything that you bake it's going to release very easily nothing is going to stick to to your baking dish well here i'm adding all the mixture in here i'm going to tap it a little bit to get the bubbles of air out i have preheated my oven to 350 fahrenheit it's going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes remember every oven is different once this is done let me show you i'm putting a little stick in if it comes out clean that means it is cooked through and now let's reveal look at this look how golden brown it is it didn't stick to the pan nice and fluffy and now i am ready for prepare the decoration i'm going to go ahead and add the granulated sugar I want to go ahead and add the granulated sugar in medium heat and you start seeing that it starts getting nice and clumpy it starts dissolving the sugar you could see the crystals don't leave the pan make sure that you are whisking at all times because it could burn your sugar could burn very easily once it's at this point then you are ready to start adding your vanilla extract and then you are going to add your hazelnuts and just cover them completely making sure that they're nice and covered and now turn off your stove and let's decorate our cake once you make this amazing and delicious hazelnut cake, you are going to continue enjoying it with your beautiful family. The aroma in my kitchen is amazing. And to tell you the truth, I can't wait to dig in and enjoy it. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media. So the family of cooking with gloria keeps growing and of course i'm gonna add the extra syrup right on the top and now i am ready for the presentation i can't wait to enjoy it i'll see you in just a little bit with this hazelnut cake yes this is the part i really love and enjoy tasting my recipes i wish you guys were here to taste it with me excuse me mm. the cake is so moist the flavor of the hazelnut really crispy the flavor is so penetrated that i'm sure you guys are going to love it when you cook with love, everything comes out amazing. Mm. Make this delicious and amazing hazelnut cake. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.